Uh, yeah, thanks, Mitch. It is very cold here tonight. In just six weeks, this becomes the next major city in America to sell recreational pot to adults. And that's not the only reason people might be spending their New Year's Eve here in Chicago, because December 31st at the stroke of midnight, it goes legal. But they have phenomenal architecture here. And of course, the delectable Chicago hot dog. This city has something for everyone. Let's face it, just as Paris is known as the City of Lights and New York is known for its skyscrapers, Chicago is known for the hot dog. Now, what do you want on the hot dog? There are plenty of places that you can go for a good Chicago dog. Now, what do you want? But if you're not easily offended, then you owe it to yourself to stop by the iconic Wiener Circle restaurant. Evelyn Morris has been dishing out dogs and insults for almost 30 years. Her salty tongue has become the stuff of legend. And what else do you want, baby? She even got a visit from Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Diego Gomez is from Colombia and had no idea what he was in for. If hot dogs aren't your thing, and truthfully, if you don't like hot dogs, I don't know what to say. But there's always the famous Cloudgate sculpture, better known as the Bean. Uh, how you being, man? Since its opening in 2004, it's become one of Chicago's most photographed attractions. What are the must-sees? Well, you gotta see the Bean. Navy Pier is good. <laughs> Deep dish pizza. Oh yeah, pizza. Whether it's Lou Mulnati's, Giordano's, Uno's, or Gino's, if you like your pizza deep dish and you're not counting carbs, there's a pie here for you. And no trip to Chicago would be complete without a stop at the Navy Pier, which with its rides and attractions on the shores of Lake Michigan, has been drawing crowds for over a hundred years. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful city, amazing. The people are very nice and very uh, good looking people. <laughs> And some bonus tourist spots for you. The Museum of Science and Industry, the Shedd Aquarium. There are some great art museums and, of course, the Magnificent Mile, where you can find some of the best shopping in the world. And it's also home to the world's largest Starbucks that opened on Friday. So if you're a Starbucks fiend, we will bring you along for a full access look inside of that. Mm -hmm. That's coming up tomorrow on 12 News First at 430. We can't wait to get in there for our, our venti coffee guys. You know, I bet. Karibi, I know you like the double half calf latte mm -hmm. chai mocha mocha. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's actually a lot simpler. It's just a chai latte. Uh, that woman, when she was talking about no, no, the chai mocha mocha okay. sounds really good. Does that though. sound good? It sounds, yeah. it sounds a little bit fancier. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, Mark, uh, try to stay warm out there, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of days.